everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you three fall inspired DIYs and I have brought in nature to help me. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I will take this branch here. Beautiful, found it in the woods. It has dried completely and together with this wood round I will make a stand for a lantern to hang from. But first I need to cut this branch to size right there and hubby is here for the rescue. Cutting it off with his hand saw like that and then we need to make a hole in the wood round and we're using a couple of different drills tried with this one at first but the hole was not big enough so we had to go with this one right here this one turned out to be slightly too big but it was not a problem so here it is hi hubby we're drilling a small hole right through to that bigger hole so we can put in a screw and tighten that branch to the wood round. But first, sanding, sanding, sanding to get everything nice and smooth with my electric sander as well as just my sanding block. This video is part of the Room by Room challenge hosted by Devin over at Freckled Mum DIY and today's theme is inspired by nature. I have a link to her channel down in my description so jump on over and check her out later and I also have a link to the playlist of this challenge for more nature inspired decor. I'm also sanding off the branch just to get it nice and smooth and take away any dirt. Now I'm putting on a natural oak stain on the wood round as well as on the branch. And this is how it looks. On the back I have put on pads already and uh, the branch as you can see the hole is slightly too big so i will address that now and i have this piece of um, tired velcro that i will just put around the branch on the bottom there just uh, attach it with some hot glue and then it will be a tighter fit and to secure it i will put in that screw i already talked about in that tiny hole through to that branch and here i am putting on some nautical rope around the bottom there because the pads were showing a little bit and i didn't want that to show so disguise them with some nautical rope the lantern I will use but first I will spray paint it in a matte black spray paint like that and now I'm taking my creamy golden color and just rub on to the surface of the lantern to highlight the texture I will show you the reveal how I style everything together all my DIYs today at the end of this video so stay tuned for that for my second DIY, I will take this beautiful wooden frame that I have thrifted for 5 euros, about the same in US dollars. So first thing, I will remove the glass because I will not use that, but I will keep the backing. I noted, especially in the corners, it was a bit of a gap that I needed to address and I will just put some wood filler there and also some wood filler on the back of the frame. It will not show but I want a nice finish. Once done with all the spackling, I set the frame aside to dry for a bit and I will focus on the 
picture itself and I will make a full moon out of this piece of plywood and I will put this branch in place as well on top of that full moon but first I need to cut it to size like that so it fits and here I am trying how large I want that full moon to be maybe this size or mm, I think I need something even bigger so I'm searching my my workshop and found this one perfect so I just trace it on the plywood sheet like that and here I am cutting it out with my jigsaw plywood is perfect for crafts so easy to work with it was a delight to cut it out with my jigsaw if you're new to my channel hi i am marika and on this channel i do lots of diys thrift flips trash to treasure renovation of my home some pottery some painting anything creative really please join me hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my youtube family and here i'm just sanding off the edges to prepare it for painting and i have a little square piece that i will put in the center of this full moon i will show you right here i have that little piece right in the center so i can rise up my full moon a little bit to get more dimension then i will put the branch just on top like that here i'm putting on one coat of a white acrylic paint just on the edges and a little bit further in because i will cover this wood round with a leftover piece of uh, wallpaper this wallpaper right here fall inspired perfect for this project i will start with the backing put some all-around glue on and press that wallpaper into place like so set it aside to dry and the same with the wood round like so once completely dry i will take just a sanding block and sand off any excess wallpaper hanging over the edges and i do the same thing with my full moon my frame has dried and now i am painting it with a black satin color and i applied two coats to get a really good coverage And here I'm using the same black satin color on the backing of my picture, the one I just covered with the wallpaper. Just make sure the wallpaper is completely dry before you apply the paint. Here I'm trying out where to put the full moon and where to put that branch. I need to attach it to the full moon and here I'm marking just with a pencil where to drill my pilot holes because I will screw it onto the full moon from the back of the moon so drilling my pilot holes like that I also need to attach my tiny plywood riser on the back of my full moon just marking where I need to put it and then I'm taking some wood glue put on there and also some hot glue for that instant hold and while that is drying I will focus on the twigs my witch hazel twigs 
that I will put on my branch. So I will cut them to size, just place them out, playing with them a little bit, so to see what works and what not. And when I'm happy with the placement of my twigs, I will take my drill and drill tiny holes to fit those twigs onto the branch. My backing has uh, almost dried and now I'm finding just the center of my piece and drill a pilot hole right through the backing because I will attach the full moon from the back side. But before I do that, I will attach my branch onto the full moon, drilling pilot holes here as well and screw in some screws like that. Perfect. I'm putting some glue onto my little riser there and just try to center it like so and then from the back of the backing I will screw in that screw to hold everything in place a little fiddly but it worked I have already made holes in the branch for my twigs to sit in. Now I'm taking some hot glue and just secure them into place. The final touch for this piece is to rub in some creamy golden color onto the frame to highlight that beautiful texture. And you will see the reveal at the end of this video styled together with my other projects of today. For my third and final DIY, I will start out by cutting a metal rod with my bolt cutter and it was some tough work but I got through. And this metal rod I will use for some stones, these ones that I will drill holes in and put that rod right through to hold everything in place and on the top I will put this styrofoam bowl covered with a moss and it will be a cute little fall display I think. So the next thing I will do is to drill holes through my stone pieces and I have these old slate pieces. You can't drill holes in any stone. You have to pick the ones that does not crack and that you actually can pierce through. They are not too hard. So I start off with a smaller drill bit like that and then change up to a bigger drill bit that will fit that rod. And I will do that on all my stone pieces the drill bits I'm using are drill bits that you use for concrete and that worked very well for me. And once I'm done I just Put everything together, try it out 
like so and it fits but the metal rod is slightly too high still and I also drilling a hole in my styrofoam ball and I have picked some moss in my backyard and now I'm hot gluing it into place to cover that styrofoam ball If you like this video and videos like this, hit that like button and the subscribe button. You will support my channel, help uh, my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating content for you. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. I also have this piece that I thrifted at a flea market for two euros, came with that glass, didn't like that one. So the thing I will do now is to spray paint it in a matte black spray paint like that. And then I will just put on some nautical rope on the bottom part, like you see me do here. Just twisting it around three times. I thought that would uh, give it a nice finish. And then I will take this tea light holder with mercury glass. You can see it right here and put that in the center. It got more rounded shape, which I like. And here is my final reveal. Oh, I give you two options because I changed it out a little bit. I have put my moss and stone creation right here. To start with, I will change that out and I will let you know why. So this is how it turned out. I think it looks beautiful. And here on my credenza, I have the rest of my creations together with some pieces that I already had. I have my tea light holder right here, looking very cute. And I put some creamy golden color on that one as well, just to tie in with the rest. My beautiful full moon, I am in love. And this is my lantern holder and I put a stone there as well just hanging from the branch beautiful but I was a bit afraid for that piece because I thought the cats would just flip it over in the middle of the night and scare me and break everything of course so I decided to put that piece in our master bedroom instead and it looks perfect in here so I will change out what I have on the credenza and I will show you the perfect full scenery and here it is a lamp that I made of witch hazel some videos ago and the rest of my pieces. My little tea light holder and my full moon again looking great and then my stack of stones right here and a little marble ball right next to it Tell me what you think of my creations today. Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. I have put an LED fairy light behind my moon to give it an extra ambiance, but the one I have used is not that strong, so you need a stronger light for that. 
And now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more nature inspired decor. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.